Hi guys, I'm Dove Cameron here from Disney's Descendants and I am here to show you today how to make these super cute hair clips like the ones that I've got right here. The great thing about these is they're super easy to make, they're super stylish, you can get really creative. We're gonna need some old hair clips, we're gonna need some decorations. I've got some baubles, I've got some wee roses, um, but you can use whatever you like. And I've got some different colored nail polishes and I've got my glue dots, but you can also use uh, glue yourself. You don't have to use the dots. Just make sure that it is dry before you stick it in your hair. Also, today we're going to try to use all recycled materials so that we can be as green as possible and make sure that you grab an adult's help because nail polish can be quite hard to get off of your clothes and even harder to get off your skin. Ready? Let's dive right in. So I had a bit of an idea for this before I got here. Just considering my outfit and my color scheme for today. I think this is quite a lovely color, don't you think? And especially with the white. I'm gonna use this piece of paper so that I don't get it on my skin, like we said earlier. So there's no real method to this. You can make them look however you like, whatever makes you smile. This one, I think, is gonna turn out quite nice. It's like I planned it. And then after that, I think I'm gonna stick a wee bit of this glue on the ends. Oh, it's quite sticky. I'm gonna let that one dry because it's gonna need a wee bit before it's ready for the glue. But here's one that I made earlier. And this one has been waiting for this. What do you guys think? Maybe a yellow rose? That's quite nice. So now that we've got our wee hair clip, we are going to learn how to make these beautiful boxes to put it in. I want to make it with this lovely pink, uh, it's sort of like a rose gold. I think it goes with my hair and I think it goes with what we created. So this is gonna seem really intimidating. It seems a lot harder than it is, but if you just follow along with me, I think it'll be easier than you think. All right, now we are going to start by folding this in half. We're gonna make a very strong crease because what is most important here is our creases. That's what we're spending most of our time doing. And whatever you can to make it very even, it's also gonna help us in the long run. We're going to fold this in, all these little mini squares, sort of inwards towards themselves. You can do that on all four sides. So now that you've got it in a nice little envelope shape. You're gonna keep it in its square and you're going to fold both sides into the middle. It's a bit finicky, but it should look nice in the end. All right. And once you've got them in the middle, just like that, we're gonna unfold again. We're gonna do the same on the opposite side. Just the same as you've done now on the other corner. Remember, this is all about making strong creases to create a nice structure for what will be a little box. So now we are going just to unfold two sides, just like that. And then we're going to double these to the center creating that strong crease. So now, what you have should look like that. Now, we are going to follow along this crease. It looks a bit invisible, but you've made it. It's already there. Just like that. Same thing on the bottom. So it looks a bit, to me that looks a bit like a wee crab, like a little spaceship. And then, we're going to do the same thing on the opposite side. There's a little pattern happening here. Really try to press in those creases. All right, now that we've got that on both sides, you can just open up these. And then you'll start to notice that we've got a wee box. It should want to fold in just like that so that you see the corners meeting in the middle. See how easy? And all of those creases that we made now become the outside of our box. 
Now, you don't need to tape these down. They should stay just as they are. There you go. We have a nice little top for our box to keep our pretty little hair clip in. Earlier, I made a corresponding bottom of the box. And if we've done it right, it should fit just like so. So in order to create the bottom of this box, you do exactly what you did before. You just cut about a centimeter off of two sides and you should have a pretty little box just like this. So there you have it. Hey guys, it's Adam. Make sure you subscribe to the Blue Peter channel, like this video, check out our playlists, and if you wanna watch more Blue Peter content, then head over to the BBC iPlayer. Watch more on BBC iPlayer.